So I'm gonna need you guys to get it together. Envision the person that you wanna be, your highest, fullest potential self, and just wake up as that person. Just be that person, that's it. No matter how hard it is, be that person. It's really calm. Tell yourself that it's calm, that it's good vibes. 2024 is your year. Bro, 2024 is our year. I can already tell. I feel like 2023 was our year. Imagine where we will all be at this time next year. Yes, remember, we're going to tune in for Jasmine's 2024. So in Jasmine's 2024, you guys have to remember this conversation right here and be like, oh my God, I remember last year when we were talking about it. That was the beginning of my journey and now I'm here. It's happening, you guys. It's happening. It's happening. It's starting. This is only the beginning, bro. Fuck. I graduate this year. I think me too. Definitely me too. What? How are you going to beat this, Jasmus? Yeah, Jasmus 2023 was a great one. Jasmus 2023 was so iconic. This was so iconic. And I want to say thank you to all of you out there that have been like, supporting jasmine's from the start this was dead ass insane i mean i know it's not done just yet i know it's not done just yet so let me not even say my goodbyes but like wow i love jasmine's i loved this so much such a great month bro i literally loved it this was perfection and it was thanks to you all right you guys we really gotta say good night now we really gotta say good night now we gotta light fireworks every day for jasmine's 2024 I wish I had permission to um, do fireworks for Jasmine. Jasmine should be a national holiday, bro. I swear to God. What a great way to end the year. Oh, my God. Janny's in the chat. How long you been doing TikTok? How long have I been doing TikTok? Like going live or just in general? I've been going live since, I think, 2021. Petition to make Jasmine's a national holiday. It should be at this point. It should be at this point. In general, Jenny, I think I've been on TikTok since 2020. 2020. Yep, 2020. Because it was when, yep, when I did my boobs. 2020, exactly, because of COVID. It was a success exciting for what's to come. Ah! Rosaline, I love you, Rosaline. Then jazz for president. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. If I was president, I would drive everyone crazy. I would drive everyone crazy if I was president. I would say, okay, the first thing that I'm doing as president, and this is a presidential matter, okay? First thing that we need to really solidify, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. On Wednesdays, we literally wear pink. And if you don't wear pink... That's a penalty. That's a penalty by law. You're going to have to pay $500 if you don't wear pink. Oh, bet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. Everybody would have to pink crop tops. Yeah, everyone would literally start buying OD pink clothes. Wait, wouldn't that be so cute? Why doesn't the president do that? The president should literally do that. It's like, we're going to be matching penalties now. Yep. Hell yeah, and Jasmine for president. And another thing, if I was president, school lunch. <laughs> school lunch needs to stop giving that, those little bum ass. School lunch needs to start giving real juice boxes. Oh, I know the kids are going to love that one. She's focusing on the important issues, of course. Of course. Of course, we have to go over the good things first. Jazz out here saving the world. That's what I'm saying. Guess you're going to be $500 richer every Wednesday. <laughs> Say about just get a pink shirt. It's literally calm. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bro, why they be giving milk with every meal? Like, how are you going to have a whole burger with me? Yo, that's the problem. Like, we're done with that milk shit. They're getting, they're getting juice boxes. That's it. Jazz is our hero. Perfect. Perfect. You gotta turn the Bronx to Dubai. I'm so weak. Yo, and that's another thing. My my third matter as president, people gotta start putting some respect on the Bronx's name. Gilberto with Cuz, thank you. And make school lunch free. 
School lunch isn't free? It's not free? 100% school lunch is gonna be free. What? I thought it was free. Oh, and you know what else? You know what's my next matter is, bro, I already have so many things as president. Pads are gonna be free. Coño, pads, tampons. It's going to be zero ninety nine. It's gonna be free ninety nine. Cause why are we having to pay for that, bro? What? And you know what else I'm gonna do as president? You can forget about student loans. You can forget about student loans, bro. Fuck all that. Yo, did you guys hear? DK on the shade room. They said Gilberto with the glasses. Did you guys hear? On the shade room, they were like, "Oh, in twenty twenty four." job companies have been saying that they no longer require a uh, a degree to get a job to get a higher position jordan with a heart me thank you dk all of these companies now are not requiring a degree ah. After I already spent, after I'm literally about to go back to school. After people are already deep into student loans. Now they want to say. Now they want to say that it's not. That it's not required. No student loans. You got my vote. Perfect. For real, I'm in my second year and they pulled this shit. Bro, why is the world like this? At this point, just going to school for fun. It's for fun. Experience or degree count. But pay difference is obvious. That's my cue to drop out. <laughs> Yo, Jazzmerica. Jazzmerica, literally. Jazz for 2024, that's that. Thank God I got my bachelor's already. Bro, that's so corny. I'm getting a degree in chat GPT. <laughs> Bro, I'm so tired of school. I think we're all tired of it. We're all tired of it, man. That shit is really... It, school is not for everyone. That shit can feel like a waste of time sometimes. But just hang in there. Just hang in there. Hang in there. How long you been live? Let me see. Five hours and five minutes. Five, five. Five hours and five minutes. I miss school, high key. You miss college or you miss high school? Do you know Zach the Puerto Rican on TikTok? No, I don't. Replace the Statue of Liberty with <laughs> Yeah, at this point. Can you imagine instead of the instead of the Statue of Liberty you have me? Yeah, the world is gonna be like, um what happened there? What happened there? Mm. Mm -hmm. Bro, my elbow. <laughs> Jasmine of Liberty. That's not funny. Get your degree. It's for life and you can change your life forever. Make Jazz America great again. And you know what else we're going to have to do? As president? That statue going to be so small. Yo, Marlon is so corny. Yo, get your old man dad on live. My dad probably would show up in the live without even realizing it because he's so, like, he's so not in tune with social media. <laughs> like, he probably would just look at it like, what's this? <laughs> he would be confused. How was the movie night? It was amazing. Pre presidential inauguration on Dykeman Street. <laughs> oh, my next order of business as president. I'm gonna need um I'm gonna need Sephora and Ulta to have a 50% off sale every single month. Every single month. And if they have anything to say about it, they're gonna go bankrupt. That's their problem. How was Puerto Rico? It was super, super cute. Yeah, this is from old San Juan. San Juan, Puerto Rico. What would you do about Staten Island as president? Uh, that's none of my business because that's not even New York for real. 
I mean, oh, 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 Staten Island. Oh, to be honest, we can let them rock. We can let them rock. Just let them keep doing what they've been doing. Because clearly it's working like they're they're minding their own business. So it's whatever. Turn it into an ice break. <laughs> Yo, you know how tight they would be if I say, all right, you guys, next order of business, we're turning Staten Island into an ice rink. <laughs> they would all be like, wait, what? The whole entire Staten Island? Now everyone can skate, no problem. So as a president, you only care about New York City? Oh my god, you're so right. Wait, I have to care about all the states. 